This is an instruction video for Charlie, the neonatal resuscitation simulator. Charlie has been awarded EMS World's Top Innovation Award, as well as Best Manufactured Product in Small Town USA. Charlie meets course curriculum for NRP and Pediatric Advanced Life Support, and has been developed in conjunction with the latest neonatal resuscitation program guidelines. This simulator is a full-term ter newborn for training on the most common neonatal care scenarios. It enables nurses and EMS personnel to practice the essentials of neonatal care. Charlie is a full-term infant manual simulator that is 19 and a half inches or 49.5 centimeters from crown to heel and weighs approximately eight and a half pounds or 3.86 kilograms. Charlie is also heat resistant and can be used in a neonatal ICU incubator. Charlie features an interchangeable intubatable airway for breathing with normal and advanced ventilator options, ECG and defibrillation capabilities, seven manual palpable pulse points, bilateral, femoral, carotid, brachial, and umbilical. Has an IV hand and foot. The left nostril has an NG tube placement option. There's also a chest tube placement and care site option. Central line care via a PIC site. A patent umbilicus with venous and arterial access. Intraosseous infusion with palpable patella and tibial tuberosity interchangeable genitalia for catheter placement. Charlie includes a full-term infant simulator, one normal airway, one advanced airway featuring edema of the tongue and throat structures, baby powder, a pint bottle with blood powder, a carry bag, a defibrillation chest, two intraosseous leg skins, 12 intraosseous bones, two fluid supply bags, two IV hand skins, a vein system for the IV hand, two IV foot skins, a vein system for the IV foot, male genitalia, female genitalia, my element ninja seal birth defect, an omphala seal birth defect, an umbilicus, a 25 gauge 3cc syringe with a needle, a 25 gauge infusion butterfly needle, a 24 milliliter syringe, a half ounce of lubricant. The second Charlie option includes a set of four defibrillation adapters and an ECG simulator. Installing the airway. With the included lubricant, Thoroughly lubricate all of the outside surfaces of the airway and around the mouth of the simulator. Gently insert your lubricated finger into the airway. Push the tube end of the airway into the mouth of the simulator and slide the airway down into the head, making sure to free the lips as the airway slides into place. Gently pull up the defibrillation chest insert. Please use caution to not detach the electronics and slide the tube from the airway into the hole at the top of the chest insert. Fit the chest insert back into the chest cavity.
To install the defibrillation chest insert and connect the interactive ECG simulator, remove the wire from under the white plate in the base of the chest cavity. Please note that the white plate is adhered to the body of the simulator and removal of the plate should not be attempted. Connect the wire from the defibrillation chest plate to the wire extending from the base of the chest cavity. Fit the chest insert back into the chest cavity. Next, screw the round defibrillation adapter posts into the defibrillation chest skin and into the post site on the posterior of the simulator. Now, attach the defibrillation cables coming from the left side of the mannequin, labeled sternum and apex, to the interactive ECG simulator. Connect the four colored limb leads coming from the left side of the infant simulator to the same colored snaps on the side of the ECG simulator. Now connect the limb leads from your defibrillator or monitor to the appropriate anterior sites on the infant simulator. chest tube. A chest tube may be inserted into the site on the left midaxial line. This is a non-functioning site that may be used for practice in chest tube care only. Moving on to the IV hand and foot. Dip the non-fitting end of the vein tubing into the provided lubricant. Feed the tubing through the lateral hole just above the hand. Form a loop over the vein channel. The loop should be approximately in the middle of the vein tubing section. From the medial side of the vein channel, feed the tubing through the remaining hole. Adjust the tubing so that it lies securely in the channel. Attach the lure fitting to the open end. Generously powder the inside of the hand. Gently pull the skin over the hand, taking care not to dislodge the vein tubing. You will follow the same procedure for the foot.
When finished, connect the hand tubing to the foot tubing. You will connect the free ends of the hand and foot tubing to the fluid supply bags. The left arm of Charlie will accept a two French catheter via the molded access site. Lubricate the pick thoroughly with a supplied lubricant before insertion. This site is intended for practice site insertion and care only. Do not attempt to infuse fluids through the pick line. Intraosseous leg. The left leg of Charlie incorporates an intraosseous infusion feature. Palpable landmarks include the patella and the tibial tuberosity. Any commercially available intraosseous device may be used to place the needle. The bone is pre-filled with stimulated blood and will provide flashback when the needle is properly inserted. To install the bone, correctly position the bone in the leg cavity. Then add a light dusting of baby powder on the inside of the skin and slide the skin over the leg. Patent umbilicus. The umbilical stump features a patent umbilical vein and one patent umbilical artery. Up to five milliliters of fluid or simulated blood may be infused into or withdrawn from the umbilical reservoir through the either vessel. To fill the reservoir within the abdomen, gently pull the umbilical stump free from the abdomen of the infant simulator. Be cautious not to disconnect the pulse system. Using the supplied syringe, depress no more than five milliliters of simulated blood or fluid into the abdomen. Replace the umbilical stump, being careful not to kink the tubing for the pulse system. Gastrointestinal. The left nostril will accept an eight French NG tube that will pass into the small tube embedded into the chest cavity of the infant simulator. It is important to note that this is for tube placement only and no fluids should be infiltrated into the simulated stomach cavity. Pulses. Charlie features seven functioning pulse sites. The right femoral, the left femoral, the right brachial, the left brachial, the right carotid, the left carotid, and the umbilical stump. The pulses are manual and can be simulated by attaching the squeeze bulb to the site and squeezing at the rate you select. Genitals. The male and female genital inserts may be used interchangeably. The genital inserts are for catheter placement practice and not designed to deliver fluids. The anal opening may be used for the administration of rectal medications in suppository form. Do not attempt to infuse fluids. To interchange and install the genitals, select either the male or female genital. Apply dusting of baby powder to the backside of the genital insert. 
and slide the insert into place in the infant simulator. Defects. Two birth defects are included with Charlie, an omphalocele birth defect that fits over the patent umbilicus. and the neur neural tube defect that fits into the hole on back of the infant simulator. Charlie can be used for various neonatal simulations established in the neonatal resuscitation program guidelines and include NG tube placement, intubation, CPR and defibrillation, PICC line placement, IV injections and withdrawals, IV infusions, chest tube placement, umbilicus catheterization, and fluid infusion, urinary catheterization, administering rectal medications, performing rectal temperature checks, intraosseous leg infusion, pulse features, and incubation heat compatibility. Placing the NG tube. Charlie's left nostril may be used to practice NG tube insertion and care with tube placement only and no fluids recommended. Generously lubricate the recommended eight French NG tube with the lubricant provided. Feed the NG tube through the left nostril and follow general practice guidelines to place the tube. Intubation. Charlie allows for normal intubation and advanced or difficult intubation skills to be practiced. A number one blade and a standard 3.5 millimeter ET tube or number one LMA is needed to practice airway management skills. Always be sure to generously lubricate the recommended equipment with the lubricant provided. Gently slide the blade into the mouth and depressing the tongue to view the airway. Insert the ET tube or laryngeal mask airway following general practice guidelines to place the tube. Then you will ventilate the infant airway simulator using a bag valve mask following general practice guidelines. Practicing CPR and defibrillation. Once you have set up and connected Charlie to the interactive ECG simulator, you will turn on the interactive ECG simulator by pressing the on off button. When turning on the ECG simulator, the default selections are the adult age group and normal sinus rhythm. Press the age group button to select pediatric rhythms. Next, press any of the rhythm buttons to select the rhythm for the scenario you are, you are running. The rhythm will be displayed on your AED monitor. To convert, select the initial rhythm to display and then press the convert button. Select the rhythm to display after conversion. This rhythm will be blinking. Shock the mannequin using industry standards for infant defibrillation. Using 20 joules of energy are enough to convert and do not go over the industry standard.
After shocking Charlie, the blinking rhythm will turn solid on the interactive ECG simulator and will be the rhythm displayed on your defibrillator or monitor. CPR may also be performed on Charlie. Follow all local or national CPR standards for infants. Pulses. To perform a pulse check on Charlie, gently pump the inflation bulb to activate the pulses as desired in any of the seven functioning pulse sites. Performing intravenous injections and blood withdrawals, Charlie's right hand and right foot are equipped with functional IV access and infusion practice support. Follow all included instructions to prepare for injections, infusions, and withdrawals as identified in the instruction manual. For blood sampling, using one of the included 25 gauge needles, follow institution guidelines to perform blood withdrawals in the hand or foot. Flashback will occur when the needle is in proper position. Intravenous injections. Before practicing injections, follow included instructions for blood and bag setup. Using distilled water only to simulate cleansing the IV site and performing injections or withdrawals. Using any other fluids or harsh antiseptics is not recommended as they could stain or cause damage to the simulator. Using the 25 gauge needle with syringe, follow institution guidelines to perform injections in the hand or foot. Umbilicus. The umbilicus may be catheterized through the vein or the artery. With the reservoir already filled, you may lubricate the catheter and follow institutional guidelines to withdraw blood. To infuse fluids, leave the reservoir empty and follow institutional guidelines. The maximum cavity capacity is approximately five cc's of fluid.
Urinary catheterization. The interchangeable genital inserts are for catheter placement practice only and not designed to deliver or eliminate fluids. Select either the male or female genital insert and fit into the body of Charlie per previous setup instructions. Lubricate a five French straight urinary catheter and insert following institutional guidelines. Administering rectal medications and performing a temperature check. The anal opening of Charlie may be used for the administration of rectal medications in suppository form or performing a simulated rectal temperature. It is recommended to avoid infusing fluids. Always lubricate anything that will be inserted into the rectum with the supplied lubricant. Intraosseous infusion. Charlie's left leg incorporates an interosseous infusion feature. Install the pre-filled bone and foot skin over the leg per previous instructions. Palpable landmarks include the patella and the tibial tuberosity. Any commercially available intraosseous device may be used to place the needle. A blood fat flashback will occur when the needle is properly inserted. Bones can be punctured multiple times before replacement. Heat. Charlie is also heat compatible and can be placed in an incubator for added realism to any infant neonatal resuscitation program simulation. Practice all of the essentials of neonatal resuscitation with this simple simulator, as well as any birthing scenario using Charlie. Are you ready?